offsets. By making headway on this, we aim to reduce the rate of global warming, as industries like agriculture make up 50% of our emissions profile, and energy makes up nearly 40. This includes our fastest growing sector, transport. This demand asks the government to end all oil, gas, and coal explorations and extraction. It also asks for all of our major cities to sign a fossil fuel non-proliferation treaty and to invest in long distance rail and make public transport free and reliable. Another one of our demands is to transition to 100% regenerative agriculture by 2030. As we heard from Tumanako, this is not a new concept in Aotearoa. When the Treaty of Waitangi, which contradicts Te Tiriti o Waitangi, was signed in 1840, it enabled the Crown to take beautiful fertile land away from Tangata Whenua to be used to make farms for its own profit. In areas of, sorry, in areas of the country where the land was less suitable for farming, it was used anyways, and irreversible damage occurred to the Whenua. Te Ao Whanui, the Pākehā worldview, did not and does not have respect or connection to the land. We can transition from farming against the land to farming with the land, as we recognize the symbiotic relationship that Māori have had with the whenua for hundreds of years. A vital part to addressing climate change is prioritizing te tiriti-centered climate justice, as we heard from Kali. To uphold te tiriti o Waitangi as a Pākehā person means to honor and listen to the voices of Māori. Te Ao Māori and Matauranga Māori are at the center of how we should be tackling climate change as an intersectional issue. Throughout the affected areas of Aotearoa, Māori and Pacifica people have been most impacted by the damage of Cyclone Gabriel and the flooding, climate change instigated events. It is about time that Tangata Whenua are at the heart of solutions, policies and decision making in a way that encompasses Te Ao Māori. Our last demand is that we, Rangatahi, are finally able to have our voices represented in our voting system to make the voting age 16. We say the chant, whose future, our future, at every strike I've been to. And the weight of that chant is more and more powerful as the Make a 16 campaign continues. Being able to vote means that we will have just as much say in our future as the generations who got us here. We, unlike other parts of Tataro, have a voice and bear the responsibility to act as guardians for our beautiful planet. Armed with our demands, we ask that the government, we ask the government for climate justice for Rangatahi and for Tataro.